I think, you know, before we went into this recession, we already had some pretty good building blocks in our state, our aerospace industry, our bioscience uh, industry, our commitment uh, for over many decades to energy, both old and new. But what I've seen traveling the state during the worst recession since the Great Depression, and now, you know, that we're coming out of this slowly but surely, is that uh, Coloradans have used this dislocation in our economy to innovate. That's what people have been doing. And there are companies all over our state, from Durango to Fort Collins to Denver to Colorado Springs to Pueblo, that actually have added jobs during this recession rather than, um, rather than cut them. And, and my view is that as we see economic growth actually begin to take hold, that the, vo the velocity of innovation in Colorado is only going to grow and the economic activity here is only going to grow. And we're busy inventing the future here. That's what we've always tried to do. It starts from having an orientation that's focused on the future, not on the past. And I think that that's, that's how the state started, and, and we've kept that uh, all along. And we're lucky to have political leadership that recognizes that, uh, that, that's willing to question whether government's working well or not working well, and make changes that, are, that will support uh, the, the growth in, in the private sector, knowing that we're not creating the jobs, we're creating conditions where people who want to create jobs here can create jobs here. We're not feuding over what happened 50 years ago, as happens in some other places, because we're such a young place. We know that, you know, we, we, we treasure our past, we honor our past, but we know we're going to be defined by our future, not by our past.